Today in our History of series, we're going to talk about the most important character in the Matrix universe, Thomas Anderson, also known as Neo, the One, the Integral Anomaly, the only human who managed to break the predetermined path set by the architect. Welcome to Matrix Explained. the desert of the real. Before we begin today's video, we would like to announce the giveaway of the Matrix Comics 20th Anniversary Edition. Co-created by the Wachowskis, it's a collection of short stories within the Matrix universe. We will also be giving away an original Matrix poster signed by Matrix Explained and a limited edition Matrix 300 piece puzzle. For your chance to win these prizes, please be subscribed to this channel, leave a like on this video, and leave in the comments section what will you pick, the red or blue pill, and why. The winner will be announced on May 4th. Neil's life story is a bit ambiguous, but there are some clues to his past in the movie. During Neil's interrogation, Agent Smith had with him a file detailing Mr. Anderson's life. On the folder it reads, Thomas Anderson, born in Lower Downtown Capital City, USA on March 11th. His parents, Michelle McGahey and John Anderson, attended Central West Junior High and Owen Patterson High. Neil lived a somewhat isolated childhood. When the architect explains to Neil that he is the integral anomaly, the small TV screen surrounding the walls of the room shows videos of Neo's life. From childhood to adulthood, we made a video dedicated to analyzing these images. On the screens, we can see that Neo was bullied when he was a child. He was always a loner, socially isolated. This explains why Thomas Anderson created an alter ego on the internet named Neo. There are videos of him eating alone, walking alone, and even in school alone. It's not known what happened to his parents, but when Neil reached his teenage years, he completely distanced himself from his relatives. He had no friends or acquaintances. Mr. Anderson was a shut-in who felt a great emptiness and lived his life asking existential questions. During his young adult years, he got a respectable job at Metacortex, where his skills as a programmer stood out. Metacortex is one of the most important software development companies in the world. Needless to say, Mr. Anderson's future was assured, but his day job did not stop him from continuing his other life. At night, Neil would develop illegal programs to sell, search for criminals and other undesirables on the dark web, breaking every cyber law and searching for what is the Matrix. We are now at the beginning of the Matrix film. One of Neil's customers, a guy named Choi, goes to Neil's apartment to pick up a program. Choi's special ordered illegal software was created to erase motor vehicle tickets. Before Choi arrived at Neil's apartment, Neil received a strange message on his computer. It said to follow the white rabbit. Choi's girlfriend so happens to have a white rabbit tattoo on her back, so Neil decides to go with them. Choi's entourage goes to a club. Neil is with them, but he is standing alone in a corner. There he meets Trinity, the infamous hacker Trinity known for hacking the IRS. From here, everything begins to fall into place. Neo's destiny to become the one starts at Metacortex. Mr. Anderson is having some problems at work and gets grilled by his boss. Then his day gets worse when he gets a cell phone in the mail. It rings and it's Morpheus on the other line telling him that agents are coming for him. Morpheus, a most wanted criminal that Neo has been dying to meet. Neo tries to escape but he gets caught by the agents. Fast forwarding through the interrogation scene, which we've already discussed earlier, the agents forcefully place a tracker into Neo. The event was so traumatizing that Neo thought it was a nightmare. But the tracker was real and it was meant to help lead the agents to Morpheus. Neo wakes up in his apartment and gets another phone call from Morpheus asking if he still wanted to meet. Neo agrees and is picked up by Trinity and two other individuals. Trinity removes the tracker from Neo's stomach and he is taken to meet Morpheus, who subsequently gives Neo a choice to either discover the truth or remain in ignorance. The red or the blue pill? Neo chooses the red pill and his life is forever changed. 
Morpheus explains to Neo what the Matrix is and that he is the prophesized savior of humanity, the one who will free humanity from the machines that have imprisoned them inside a computer simulation. For the time being, Neo goes along with the whole prophecy thing. He is trained by Morpheus and is later taken to meet the person who created the prophecy of the One, the Oracle. The climax of the Matrix begins with Morpheus serving as a decoy and getting captured so that Neo can escape from the agents. Neo, in return, risks his life to save Morpheus. Neo confronts Agent Smith and dies, but then he is reborn as the One. He defeats Smith and Neo is now part of the Matrix cycle. The agents could not destroy Neo, so instead, they began to target the potentials, the young people with abilities inside the Matrix. These events occurred in the Path of Neo video game. Between the coming of the One and the end of the war. Is it over? Neo's presence within the Matrix sparked a new exodus of potentials. Freeze it. But because they were unable to stop Neo, the machines turned their attention to those within their grasp. Sentinels set a trap for one of our ships, and from the ship's mainframe, they extracted a list of potentials. The agents leveled their wrath on the helpless, and Neo was the only one who could stand against them. In the Matrix sequels, Neo is haunted by nightmares of Trinity's death. He is desperate for answers. The Oracle leads him to believe that to save Trinity, he would need to find the Keymaker and go to the Source or the Machine Mainframe. Only then does the path of the One and the War ends. The Keymaker is the only one that can open the door to the Source, but the door did not lead to the Source. It led to the Architect, who then reveals to Neo the real truth. The prophecy of the One was a lie. It was another system of control and that Neo was destined to restart the Matrix and create a new Zion. The current city of Zion would be destroyed and all of its inhabitants killed, including Trinity. Neo refuses and breaks the Matrix cycle by choosing to save Trinity. He chooses his own path, the path of Neo, the first to not follow the established paradigm. While all of this is happening, the reborn Agent Smith had infected the Matrix which gave Neo a bargaining ship and negotiated a truce with Deus Ex Machina. Even though Neo broke the Matrix cycle, he offered to help stop Agent Smith in return for peace and a new beginning for humans and machines. The machines accepted the terms and together, they destroyed Agent Smith once and for all. Neo fought with everything he had, but then he realized that fighting was pointless. He was enlightened. Hi, I'm Andy Wachowski. And I'm Larry Wachowski. Or rather, these are the digital projections of our mental selves. You see, at this point in the story, Neo stands on the verge of Satori, ready to resolve the paradox of choice and choicelessness, of free will versus fate, but that can only be achieved through an act of surrender, which he occurs after he has abandoned the perspectival nature of truth, accepting the totality of present consciousness, which ultimately allows an evolutionary transition. Transcending the Cartesian dilemma through the emergence of delimited spirit, which then provides the world with a choice of a third path, the path of Neo, the path of Key. Neo is assimilated by Smith, which gave Ex Machina the chance to destroy the Smith virus with something like an electrical discharge that was conducted through Neo's body and thus passed on to Smith. Neo died, and his body was taken away by the machines. Nothing else is known of what happened to Mr. Anderson. Some believe that he was somehow saved and reconnected to the Matrix. Others believe that he indeed died and his consciousness is either trapped inside the simulation or was copied. But whatever Neo's ultimate fate was, we will soon find out later this year in Matrix 4. Let us know in the comments which character should we discuss next.
For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.